Hey guys and welcome back to Project Zomboid and the Adventures of Michelle Bell. Right, I've got some chips, I've got my wood glue, I've got my can opener, I've got some beef jerky. I think it's time that we start heading down to that adult education centre in order to get the last couple of books that were missing. I do apologise for the lack in Zomboid episodes lately, well, well lately is such a relative term in YouTube. Um, because you guys could be watching this fucking months in advance, or months months in advance. If you were watching it months in advance, I want to know how, because that means that you have some sort of time traveling device. And that'd be pretty cool. Don't mind having a time traveling device. Um, but yes, it means that you may be watching this. Hey, that log is mine for. Oh, nine milli rounds. Oh, and a wallet as well. Sweet. Um, so yeah, it means that you may be watching this um, and like four months after I record it, in which case you could just be binging on all the Zomboid episodes. But uh, anyway, yes, the reason for the lack of Zomboid episodes is basically I've just never got around to it. Uh, I've been busy. I've been busy. I've been playing other games. But it's good to get back to Michelle Bell. Wallop. Get wrecked. Oh, a wee baseball bat for my troubles. Thank you, sir. That means that if, uh, if I end up breaking my axe or run out of wood glue, etc., then I will have a fabulous baseball bat. Oh, look at that place. That's hoaching. Pure hoaching. Oh, we're getting a nice steady... Look at that stream of hate ex experience coming in from Steakin. Do you see it? It's the best way to gain experience right there. Run around a horde and just hold your weapon out because that puts you into sneak mode. As long as you're not noticed, just, just keep gaining experience. Very sweet. I don't want to fight them. I could fight them, but I don't want to. Let's just uh, casually sneak by. See you later, horde. Uh, I should probably eat some of my chips as well. Let's eat a quarter of them. Perfect. And we'll sweep past here. And then we need to sweep up the road to our right. Ha oh, ha, double hit. There's some earbuds. Earbuds are not jewellery, regardless of what you think. Alright, let's take out this fool. Oh. There we go. And we'll swing just along this road now. Probably clearing out any Zeds that we come across. No. Ah, she keeps doing the... There we go. She kept doing the ground smack instead of the... There we go, now you're dead. Instead of swinging, she kept doing the ground smack, which wasn't happening for me. Come on, do you want to, do you want to join the zombie buffy? Oh, yeah, you do. Alright. Let's get going. That was a decent amount of zombies, we just absolutely murderized. All these little houses with little chain link fences. I love the tune in this game, like the little background song. It's really good. I don't know why I like it so much. I wonder if she's actually speaking a legit language or if she's just making it up. go. Not all these guys are not dead. I thought they were. Evidently, they are not. There you go. That's a normal hiking bag. There's a larger mate of considered it. It's not normal. That was mostly women that was there as well. That was weird. I say only because the men in the game have got a chance to drop an axe, whereas the women do not. Because apparently Michelle Bell is an oddity in the fact that she's uh, a badass female lumberjack in the town of Muldraw. Right. 
this here is the adult learning centre. Well, there's a definite, definite, definite influx of zombies in this area. Right, we're doing pretty good. We're making good time on getting here, etc. So we should be pretty, pretty good for at least clearing out this area and getting in. Alright, we've got... I hate it when the fucking music starts up. No. There we go. We're fine, we're fine, we're all good. That is a big group of Zeds there. You've lost your head. Right, let's swing them down here. It's annoying because this group of Zeds is just big enough that I may need to uh, actually ditch them instead of mothering them. Swing them around a circle. Well, pretty easy to murder, uh, to murder them. No. That many Z studio? No. Pretty easy to ditch them. Probably not to murder them. There's Jolly over here. Jolly through these trees. Up and over. And we've probably ditched them. Because that's how stupid Zeds are. No trees! Alright, let's just swing around this area. Come on. Take X. There we go. What have you got now? What have you got? Ooh, lock it. Mine. And the rest of his heads are somewhere around there. So that's all good. Let's head up here and oh my god, there's another group of them. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Right, let's get up. Come on, gents and ladies. Oh, that was a bit rowdy. Yeah, there's a bit many of you guys. Right, you. Hello, ladies. Yeah, okay, I want to get the the speedy ones to the forefront. Right, I'm just gonna keep swinging round to make sure so we're not getting chased by anyone else who's gonna come and jump on the rear of me. Come on, gents. I got the pace. Come on, Michelle, you as well. You can. There we go. Lop the head off a few of these buggers. Alright. There we go. This is some proper zombie slaying right here. Well, we've broken our axe. Let's repair it with some wood glue. No, let's not then. Let's equip this in both hands. There we go. Two baseball bat fuckers. Right, how we doing? Not too bad. I'll repair the uh, the axe in uno momento. As soon as we manage to take out a couple of these guys. Right, let's back up a little bit. Let's uh, eat the remainder of our chips. He's a bit happier. Right, 
just checking the freaking it makes that panic noise and then I worry. Then I begin to panic. Let's uh, start beating some fucking heads in. That was a bit too close for comfort. Don't you dare. She got super panicked there and I got a bit worried. Alright. He's, jeez, oh using a freaking, using a baseball bat is uh, so much worse than using an axe. She's a, uh, she's a badass lumberjack. She's not a badass baseball player. Well, that was a nice noise. Aha! There's another one dead. That's not great. Oh shit. That's always slight damage, that's fine. It's not... I'm not scratched, I'm not bitten. Oh, that was too close for comfort there. I need to take this a bit slower. Oh god, that's him dead. Right, come on, let's just... We need to be able to knock at least one of them down. Oh, there's another one dead. There you go. Batter up. Whoop. You're the last fucker left, buddy. There we go. Fuck right off. Baseball bat, you're going in that, that that bag. Anyone who comes close is getting a fucking axe to the face. There we go. Jesus Christ. Pearl necklace, don't mind if I do it. Right, they all left. Some beta blockers, nice. Oh, hiking bag. Should probably keep some beta blockers with me for whenever we get panicked again like that. Because the uh, the panic there probably caused a lot of those issues. That is really annoying that they are currently trying to smash their way into the adult education center. But if I come over here and go, hey, hey fools. Right, and we pull them away as much as possible. All right. And what we need to do is try and push our way through these. This is not normally a great idea, but when you need to get away from zombies, Sometimes it's your only option. There you go. We just got that entire hole just lost in those trees for about three years. Because <laughs> they just because they take so goddamn long to uh, to get through the trees, they'll be in there for freaking ever. What's in here? Nothing. It's for lease. What do you expect, Stejo? There's a pen in there. Wait. Not brilliant, but. Hey buddy. I need to do that anyway. That's why we had to scare everyone off because the chances of the window of the door being open are slum to none. Well, let's head over this way. Fill up a water bottle. Another drink. There we go. Let's open up that door. And uh, let's go and explore the area. Try and get ourselves those books that we're after. 
Right, nothing in here. So we're gonna have to smash away into this one. I was gonna say these for some reason have got the opportunity to give me nails, so and apparently they do nine times out of ten. What the hell? Get nails off of that, nails and concrete powder, like what the fuck? I definitely think that they've been kinda borked in this latest build. They give you the wrong stuffs. Alright, so let's pop out through that door. There we are, and now we get into the one that we actually wanted to get into. Which is the one with the books. Really, none of that is lootable. A lighter. Some orange soda. Some magazines. Oh, some chips there. What was the chips up here? There we go, there's the chips there. Another lighter. Another freaking lighter. I'm in a hot dog. Bacon and a corn dog. A newspaper, a magazine. Magazine, magazine, magazine. What? I can imagine that. I can remember the adult education center being a lot better for uh, for books and stuff than this. Oh, I suppose that the next place to go would probably be the elementary school. Come on, woman. Just die. She was a zombie. There we go. Yeah, so the next place is going to be the uh, elementary school, which is a bit further south. It's actually, it's like super close to this, but uh, our character's getting sleepy now. And unfortunately I don't have anything that's got, that can keep her awake. So that there is the, uh, the elementary school. Ah, you know what, we're so close to it. Let's just have a wee nip in and see what we can see. I'm not going to fully loot it, and uh, you know what, there's going to be a ton of Zeds around here, I can just see it. Let's see if any of the these doors are open. If we can get them via any of the doors, then I'll be happy. If not, then I'm just going to leave it, because as soon as I smash one of those windows, we're going to have Zeds all over us. Ah, we're so close. We're right here. No, no, Stajo. Safe. Be safe. Because otherwise, you'll just end up being dead. Alright, let's go. If I'd have brought some coffee with me or something like that, then I'd have been happy enough to do it. But the fact that we're already drowsy is making me a bit worried. I don't want to have to smash my- you know what actually, fuck this. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm down here, I'm going through it. I know I'll just waste some time and doing- not being sure what to do, but screw it. I don't care. You're dead, you're dead. Get wrecked. Let's pop our way through and we'll look the shit out of this, even if we have to be up all night. No alarm, which is helpful. There are a thick ton of things. I'm going to head through and... It wasn't there that the noise was. It wasn't in there either. There's a locker room between the... 
What the hell? God. Hey, I want to see the library. Okay, this is the cafeteria. They're all running away, which is good. I don't know what this room is. Principal's office? Possibly. I heard that. Where was it? God, am I going to have to check all of these? Kids with newspapers. It's going to be too dark for me to actually look. Oh, damn it. There we go, I'll close all of them. This is going to be too dark for me inside and I don't have a torch or a candle or anything. I'm going to have to head back. Damn it. That's a shame. Seem to have cigarettes. No, I don't need a lighter. Strange. So yeah, the uh, the old adult education centre was a bit of a wash. Get wrecked. You ain't never catching me. I'm a gingerbread man. Women. That's a lot of Zeds that's around here. Oh, that's an awful lot of Zeds that are around here. I just gotta sprint straight up here. Probably stop sprinting. Instead, I should probably be sneaking, but yeah. But that's gonna do us for this episode. So, as always, I've been CG, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.